Hey, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. Quick MD Minute coming out of the British Medical Journal. That's a prestigious English journal. Researchers at Oxford University, they are looking at the results of the EPIC Oxford study. And uh, what they did is they looked at 49,000 women and they followed them for 18 years. These were quite healthy women. Almost 50% of them were exercising. Almost 50% of them were taking dietary supplements. Only about 10 or 12% of them were had high cholesterol or high blood pressure or high, or high sugars, diabetes. And at baseline, none of them had any kind of heart or disease or strokes. And what they did is they divided them into what type of diets they were following. Were they carnivorous? They ate meat and other types of protein. Were they vegetarian or vegan? And were they pescatarian? And they divided them into those different groups. So just to give you an understanding, 24,000 of the 49,000 were um, carnivorous. They were meat eaters. Uh, about 28,000, which was a higher amount, were actually vegetarian and vegan and they put them together, and then about seven and a half thousand were pescatarian, meaning they ate fish, and they had other eggs and dairy, but they didn't eat poultry or meat. And then they follow them for 18 years, and they look at their risk of having a heart attack or a stroke over the 18 years. Now, I think there's quite a lot of research population studies, these are observational studies, that seem to suggest that the Plant protein eaters seem to have better cardiovascular outcomes. They seem to have less heart disease. And this was shown in this study because if you were eating a vegetarian, vegan or pescatarian diet, your risk of having a heart attack, cardiovascular disease was reduced by 13% compared to the people who were eating meat. That translated into every thousand people over 10 years, 10 less would have heart attack or something similar if you were a pescatarian, vegetarian or vegan. The interesting part, I think, of the study is they then looked at stroke. And what they found, what I think is fascinating with stroke, is that actually that was not the case. If you were a pescatarian, a vegetarian or a vegan, compared to someone who ate meat, you had an increase of 20% relative to the meat eaters, an increased risk of stroke over this long period of time. Now, there's a couple of things. Again, observational study. They were surprised by this and they postulated, and this is their thoughts, that perhaps as when they measured levels of B12, vitamin D, omega-3s, if you were a vegetarian or a vegan, so you weren't eating fish, or amino acids, they had lower levels than obviously the meat eaters and the fish eaters. And they postulated that perhaps it was that was the reason for the increased risk of stroke. The thing you should re realize is that, that the risk of stroke was three people per thousand over a 10 year period. So even though there seemed to be a slightly increased risk of stroke, with those diets, it was still better and lower compared to 10 per thousand um, if you were eating uh, meat. So my take on this is that I think in terms of plant protein, I'm still a big supporter of plant protein as opposed to animal protein, but I'm not against animal protein. But if you are eating plant protein predominantly, I think it's important to get some blood tests. B12 is one. That can be supplemented if it's low. Vitamin D is one, and that can obviously be supplemented. There are plant-based omega-3s, perhaps that's something. And if you aren't taking enough protein, there are a myriad of plant proteins coming from hemp, rice, pea proteins, these types of things that you could take that would be perfectly fine and would keep your amino acids up. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Mentor. Thanks for tuning in.